Here with Garden Web head coach Rusty Strap. Coach, uh, a big series win this weekend over the second place High Point Panthers. Uh, tough one today, but uh, overall this weekend your team played very well. Yeah, if you're looking at the totality of the weekend, you know, we'll take two out of three anytime. Of course, we wanted to sweep after yesterday. And you win the series, you wake up Sunday and say you got a great opportunity. But their bats are good. They're, they're a great hitting team. And, you know, for us to shut them out on Friday and only give up one hit and one run on Saturday, you can only contain a really good hitting team for so long. And we did. So we really thought we'd probably score some runs, more runs today. And their pitcher did a great job, and we were only able to – to put two across, but as you said, you know, the series win puts us uh, in good shape in, in the standings as far as, you know, we're, first thing you want to do is qualify for the tournament, and then you want to get a good seed, and then you want to go win it. And right now, we got to take those in that order. We got to get in that tournament first before we can start thinking about the seeding and winning. Coach, uh, Brad Haynes has been pitching very well after after being a bullpen guy for most of his career. Talk about his emergence this season for you. Well, you know, when we tried to start him in the past, you might remember he didn't have a lot of success starting. So coming into this year as a senior, we knew he was going to have to start because we lost four starters from last year. And the guy has emerged as the best starter in the Big South or among the best in the Big South. I know his numbers match up with everybody's. And, uh, He's a quiet guy, you know, he doesn't say much, but uh, he gets out on the mound and just competes and competes and never gets rattled. And right now, I don't know what we'd do without him because we had to do last weekend without him when uh, when his uh, child was born, little Charlie. So we didn't have him that weekend and it really showed, but we're glad he's on our team. Thanks, Coach. Gardner Webb Jr. Jeremy Walker, Jeremy. Uh, yesterday, you, you pitched best game you pitched since you've been in college. A one hitter. Have you ever had a game like that before high school uh, or any level in, in your pitching career? Um, there was one game in high school. I had, uh, I think it was a no hitter through five. But I've never been in the sixth or the seventh without to give up any hits. Definitely not that far. So I mean, not not really in my entire life. So. What was working for you yesterday, and kind of talk about what your your mood throughout the game. You, you got behind some counts early, but it seemed seemed like you stayed calm and, and came through. Yeah, uh, I mean, early I was struggling getting ahead with my fastball. Um, I was able to get get back in the count with a slider late in counts, but you know, as I as the game went on, I kind of settled in through a bunch of first pitch fastballs for strikes, and they made it kind of easy on me because they were swinging a lot early, which kept my pitch count down. Um, and I didn't throw anything but a fastball and slider yesterday, so I guess just commanding those pitches later in the game really helped as it progressed. How big was it for you guys to get this series win after a tough couple road series? You come back home and you're able to get uh, take care of business the first two days. It's it's a big, big, uh, I mean, series win, of course. It's always big to win a conference series, especially against High Point. They were, they were like 7-2 for this weekend, so it's a, it's a good, uh, it's good to beat them. Um, and I know last year we struggled a lot in April, so just to come and win a series, and then hopefully that'll get us rolling throughout the next weekend and the following week. So, good. thank you.
score, Gardner Webb 3, High Point 1, series finale, set for tomorrow at 2 p.m. here in John.